Welcome back Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. As you just saw, the Cry Mutiny grenade launcher absolutely ripped into this dungeon boss, and you're about to see it shred into some other ones. So in a season that's introduced the Dragon's Breath, and a seasonal artifact that boosts the damage of rocket launchers, how is this legendary ritual weapon putting up so much damage? Well, there's a number of contributing factors. In the most recent update, 7.3.5, heavy grenade launchers, like the Cry Mutiny, received an increase to their ammo capacity, along with an increase in overall damage. This brought heavy grenade launchers more in line with rocket launchers, and even with the help of Archant Ordnance, grenade launchers are still just better now. In fact, there are several grenade launchers that have benefited from this change, but unlike many of the other standouts, the Cry Mutiny also gets the benefit of having some unique synergy with this season's artifact. This grenade launcher comes with Vorpal, which gives it a 10% bonus in damage, which on its own isn't all that much, a trait that's easily beat out by several other weapon traits. But the Cry Mutiny also offers Incandescent. This is able to work off of the Kindling Trigger artifact mod, so when we're Radiant, Solar weapons will cause Scorch to any unscorched target, and to piggyback off of that, Revitalizing Blast will cause champions and bosses to become weakened whenever hit with a solar ability, which includes Scorch effects, causing those targets to take an extra 30% damage. Incandescent causes high-ranking enemies to spread Scorch to a larger radius, which is going to work in combination with Vorpal, Kindling Trigger, and Revitalizing Blast to increase the amount of continuous damage that these bosses will take. So in a sense, the Cry Mutiny is benefiting off of the Seasonal Artifact in a similar way as the Dragon's Breath, or Polaris Lance has, giving it a slightly unfair advantage compared to other weapons in its class. And since the Cry Mutiny is a legendary weapon, you can add on a boss spec mod or taken spec mod, depending on what type of boss that you're going up against, which is going to increase your overall damage potential by either 7.7% or 10%. Since the Cry Mutiny provides the most benefit to solar subclasses, you'll find this to be a perfect option with Titans who are running the Laurelly or Pyrogale and to Hunters running the Celestial Nighthawk. And when it comes to Warlocks, the Sunbracers or the Dawn Chorus will both be excellent. To amplify the damage potential of Cry Mutiny even more, you want to use the Ember of Ashes fragment, which is going to double the amount of Scorch that gets created. What I like most about the Cry Mutiny's damage potential right now is that it keeps our exotic option open to use weapons like the Izanagi's Burden, the Wither Horde, or the Lumina. Like any weapon loadout in Destiny, the benefit of grenade launchers will be circumstantial to your activity, and in some cases it will depend on what the rest of the team is running. With that said, if your team is full of legendary rockets with a Gatherhorn, well you're probably better off sticking with a rocket launcher. But if you're going into something solo, or just steering clear of rockets in general, then the Cry Mutiny and other grenade launchers are going to be a great option this season. But enough about what I think of this new grenade launcher superiority. What are your thoughts about the Cry Mutiny and the shift in the DPS meta? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new Light Guardian, just starting your journey, or a battle-hardened veteran, just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below, and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.